So this is a quick introduction to why I hate Michael Gove and in this part just having a very brief look at the way he uses obfuscation. I was watching Michael Gove in action on Times Radio and I'm very interested in the way he uses obfuscation, the muddling of information, the clouding of subject in hand to create a narrative that doesn't really take you anywhere like this. Morning, Kate. Morning. I've got to ask you about levelling up. How is cutting the rail link to Manchester on HS2 going to help levelling up in the north of England? Well, you're, you're making an assumption there, which I, I don't think it's quite right to make. But overall, you the, can't key, deny it though, can you? the key thing about levelling up is that it's about more than one ingredient. So it, transport matters, infrastructure matters. Uh, but within that, it's also the case that links within and between northern and midland cities matter. And more than just infrastructure, levelling up involves research and development spend being spent more effectively. It involves the devolution of power to local leaders who can help to transform their areas. It involves improving education and skills. I could go on, but I hope that the point is, is made that you cannot simply look at one ingredient um, and say that that is the only test of levelling up. But it he doesn't answer anything about HS2. It was something that the government thought was a good idea and now doesn't want to do or can't do. Well, firstly, it is a good idea. That's why we're still working hard and there are spades in the ground, as the Prime Minister pointed out earlier. You, you're talking about this um, 20 million for 50, uh, 50 towns over mm. 10 years. Uh, the truth is that under this government, the amount of money that the central government grant going to councils has been cut by billions. It's not a question of a few millions. I mean, it's been cut by billions, hasn't it? 20, 30 billion. Well, it was, it was certainly the case um, that during the period immediately after 2010, local government budgets were placed under, I think quite rightly, a degree of scrutiny. Um, and well, cut, cut of up to 40%. I mean, and that's and more than scrutiny. And certainly, in the last spending review, we saw a significant increase in the yeah, amount of money available. Yeah, but still 10%. I like the way here that Adam Bolton steps in to interrupt Go's usual patter. On a year on year below what they were getting before uh, 2009. And I think people in the local government sector would say that uh, the most important thing to do is to make sure that uh, the money that is in the hands of local government is spent and targeted wisely. That's why we're creating a new body, the Office for Local Government, in order to enable all of us to look at those yeah, local I mean, what councils. you're doing is you're talking about devolution and shifting power to yeah. councils, while, with the other hand, you're taking away their money, their resources, no. their ability to do anything. No, I, I, I don't accept that. I think it was the case that there was a period in the immediate aftermath of the global financial well, problems decade. that we had in more 2000. Than, more than the decade. In, in yeah. 2008, yeah, more than when, the we, when, we, when we did have to look at every government department in order to seek economies, we're now in a position where, notwithstanding the inflationary pressures that we're all facing. Ultimately, though, Gove carries forward and spins his usual web of half-truths. We're able to support local government in that work. And, and critically, what we do is we complement the work that local government does. We complement the initiative that local leaders show by uh, intervening and supporting in particular areas. For example, the 55 towns that we've identified, including towns in Scotland and Wales, will be supported to deal with some of the antisocial behaviour that sometimes inhibits people from spending time and money in the high streets that need reviving. I'm going to pick this up again next week and look at more ways in which he obfuscates. Click here for a video about a minister for men.